Hello everyone, welcome to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. Okay, so today I am here to share some exciting news with you. Okay, so are you guys struggling with Salesforce Epic Trigger within uh, in your job interviews or within your job itself and looking for some structured and comprehensive way to learn Salesforce Epic Trigger? So if yes, well, I have got some exciting news with you and I am thrilled to announce that I am launching a brand new course on Salesforce Epic Trigger. So here in this course, you will going to learn or you will going to know everything about the triggers you need to know from beginning to end. Okay, so either you are a Salesforce fresher with Salesforce training or you are an experienced person with one, two, three, four, whatever year of experience. And if you are looking for a job or for a job change, then in your interviews in the technical round, you will surely going to get an Apex trigger to write down. Okay, And if you are lacking there in writing down the trigger with proper uh, syntax and proper logic and proper best practices, then it will directly going to impact on your overall interview performance. Okay. So now if you are in the same situation, then not to worry. Here I am with the course. Here we will be starting from the basic apex covering multiple scenarios, real time scenarios, writing the trigger. Okay. With the interviews, questions, and then we will going to end up with the mock interviews. So now let me introduce with the course structure. So from here, we will going to start with the basic apex. Okay. So there will be the lecture first on the basic apex where we will, uh, we will be more focused on the collections. Okay. Because collections are the most important part in the apex coding. Okay. Whether, uh, whether you are uh, in the Salesforce, whether you are working with the apex, with the asynchronous or with any integration and all, the logic needs to be handled in the collections using collections only. Okay. So this is the most important important part in Salesforce. Okay. So we will be more focused here with the collections. Then next we will start with our Apex trigger. So here you will get to know about what is trigger, what are the different syntax context variables we are having in the triggers. Okay. Then we will uh, different types of events and all we will be uh, covering in this lecture. Then we will come up with the scenarios uh, on the different types of events we are having after and before. And we will be uh, covering the basics and we will be here starting with the basic scenario to the complex scenario. Okay. Then there will be the, we will be discussing about the callouts also, how to make callouts from the Apex trigger about the platform events also uh, using the triggers. Okay. Here we will be discussing about the recursive triggers, best practices to write down the trigger, how to create the test classes for the triggers. So there are the multiple things with the multiple uh, modules we will be covering. Okay. So here you will going to get the recorded uh, recorded videos also and you will going to get some live sessions also. And on the weekends we will going to have the live doubt classes. Okay. So like suppose uh, in the first week uh, you have the two sessions uh, on the basic apex and on the uh, about the triggers and if in case anyone is having any doubts and want to discuss then on the weekends that is on Saturday and Sunday we will be going to have doubt classes where you can uh, directly going to discuss your queries and doubts with me okay so now the next after completing multiple scenarios and all then the assignments will be given to you in which you will be going have you will be having multiple scenarios based questions which need to be solved using trigger okay then you will uh, I will be going to share some quizzes also okay uh, that is to explore more over the triggers and you will going to learn more there. I will be sharing interviews questions also which are mostly asked in the technical round related to triggers and all. Okay. So wait, wait, wait. After doing all these assessment and all these feedback classes, doubt classes and all, I don't want you to go like this. Okay. So after doing all these things, we will going to have one mock interview session also. Okay. Now in this mock interview, this is completely your wish. Either you want to give your mock only on the Salesforce Epic trigger or you want to cover about you or you want me to cover complete sales force in the mock interviews okay so this is the best option for you to come up and give the mock interviews if you are looking for a job change or looking for a job then what will happen in this case i can also suggest you your weak points and i can also give you the feedbacks okay what to improve more in your interviews okay and you will be more confident and will be will be doing much better in your real time interviews and mm -hmm. and the website link uh, i have also shared in the description section from where uh, you can directly go to the website and see the uh, course structure what we will covering in this course okay 
and let me tell you one more thing that the uh, court till currently there is a huge discount going on over the course if you will going to enroll yourself right now okay then you will going to get the 50 percent off and this offer is valid only for the limited time period for the limited seats only so if you are willing to join this course then please grab your seat as soon as possible because this is for a limited time period because this course is perfect for anyone who is a salesforce beginner or who is an experienced person also and is struggling in writing the optimized code and, and is struggling with the best practices and all. So this course is best for them. And why for beginner? Because we are starting here from the basic apex that is from the collections and variables and data types in Salesforce. Okay. So if you are a fresher also and don't know anything about the apex, then not to worry. You can join this. We will be because starting from the basic apex. Okay. Which you need to know to continue with the Salesforce triggers. Okay. So what you need here, you don't, you just need a laptop with a charging point and you need to create a developer org and then let's start. Okay. So are you ready to take your Salesforce trigger knowledge to the next level? So enroll in the course today itself. And I promise you, you will not going to regret. Okay. So this is just an investment in your career path. Okay. So, so let me again remind you about the discounts and also currently there is a huge, uh, so currently there is a 50% of discount going on. Okay. So this is, uh, let me remind you for the limited seats and for limited time period only. Okay. So if you are willing to join this course, do as soon as possible. Okay. And the website link I have given in the uh, description section and also shared in the comment. Okay. So if you, uh, you can go through this, you can check out the course structure and all. If you have any queries related to anything, do let me know in the comment section. Okay. So we'll see you soon there. Till then, take care. Goodbye.